Hey everybody, Chris Fahey here. Hope you're going awesome. So look, today we're actually doing something a little bit different, heading down to Tauranga CBD for a little bit of work. And so I figured while down there, pop a bunch of development going on and I'd get some snaps for the vlog. Now to add some background, Priority One, which is Western Bay of Plenty's Economic Development Organization, have snuck me a draft. Well, they've actually asked me to comment on a draft of their Tauranga CBD blueprint. And within this, they've identified 20 projects with a combined value of about $1.5 billion that are expected to occur in the CBD over the next decade. And if you think about that, that's a massive amount of investment, which will probably transform the CBD. And so one of the things that I'm hoping to do today is actually spot some of those projects in the wild. And so down the ground, I was greeted by an absolutely gorgeous day. And so at the heart of the city, we spot our first development, which is 38 Elizabeth, or also called the Farmer's Development. Now this is a massive $200 million mixed use development which includes 8,000 square meters of retail, 340 car parks, 23 luxury townhouses and 97 high-end apartments. The first stage of this project being the retail recently opened and is anchored by a new farmer's store. Meanwhile the apartment tower called Elizabeth Towers is also well progressed. To me this shows the opportunity for scale in the CBD which is a stark contrast to a lot of the low-rise buildings that cover most of the CBD at the moment. Just down the road we've got two Devonport. This is an eight level mixed use development which will be anchored by Craig's investment partners. Great position in the CBD and no doubt will have some stunning water views. While I was down there construction was just getting underway with the demolition of the existing building. On the other side of the CBD we've got 35 Hamilton Street. This is a mixed use development with lots of car parking and this one benefits from being close to the future Civic Centre and the future District Court. Meanwhile, a short walk away, we have the University of Waikato's new campus. Now, in fairness, this project was opened in 2019, but highlights the role of the university in activating development in the area, both in terms of its own campus, but also the opportunities for things like student accommodation and apartments. And then finally, just around the corner from the Bailey's Totoronga office is Vantage Apartments. This project features 32 apartments and commercial space, and one of the things you notice from this is that Tauranga CBD benefits from water on both sides of the peninsula and so that creates some great opportunities for water views from taller apartment buildings. And so that was just a small sample of the 20 developments highlighted in the Tauranga CBD blueprint. For me the big takeout was the massive extent of transformation that will occur in the Tauranga CBD in the coming decade and the big opportunity available for those involved in the local economy. With that said, if you're keen to learn more, I'll drop a link to Priority One's Tauranga CBD Blueprint within the description, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.